North America, dotting the countryside, from the mountains to the sea, in city and town, from border to border and coast to coast, there stands a unique group of buildings, both horizontal and vertical, unbelievably diverse, each a place forever open, and each a place times 6,000, and growing. These are the 6,500 member hotels and motor hotels of the American Hotel Association, and this is their world. thing of bricks and mortar, of shining steel and glass. Of artisans and air conditioners, and art. Of imagination, experience, and great traditions. Traditions that reach back into history to the heroic age, 500 years BC. These are the men who today are the guardians of those traditions. The leaders who pace an industry. The member properties of the American Hotel Association represent a fantastic array of buildings of all shapes and sizes, for all people and all purposes, from the intimate inn of a few rooms in an early American setting, or the community hotel that serves as the focal point for a town's activity, to the giant city hotel that stretches its great spiraling towers to the blue sky, offering 3,000 private rooms with bath. Innkeeping is an industry that reflects many moods. It is a world of resorts and people at play, carefree to follow their whim, to take part in any of a hundred diversions. Along the vast network of highways that wind their way through the country, a property of yet another mood, the Motor Hotel, offering comfort, safety, and convenience for the night or for the week, to fit a modern need and the great traditions of the ends of old. But they're not just buildings. They are those things that people are. They are people, all kinds, from everywhere, going everywhere for every imaginable reason, for affairs of state, for business affairs, or affairs of the heart. It is a many-faceted industry seething with the tempo of life, a great patterned quilt of activities of people, places, services, and tradition. Designed to meet the needs of the ever-growing numbers of a traveling public is the Red Book, an industry-sponsored book listing by state and town every member of the American Hotel Association, the number of their rooms and their rates. A handy and convenient guide available almost everywhere. room. Why'd you like it? Oh, what a trip. Is this our new house, Mommy? No, this is a hotel, honey. We'll be here just for a night. We'll be needing a crib. All right, you can dial a housekeeper direct. We have direct dialing system. I'll do that now. Thank you. A hotel is a composite of many parts and services, but it takes only one finger to dial a world of services. The switchboard, the nerve center of any hotel, it may be larger than that of a small town, or it may be a single operator. The purpose is the same. A flick of a finger and contact is made to any point in the house or in the world. A 
advance reservation. This is Miss McNally speaking. May I help you? Mr. Richard White, you'd like to make an advance reservation for the 17th? Reservations yeah. to practically anywhere. Confirmed on the spot. Fine. We'll have it prepared for you, sir. Milk for my baby, please. Yeah, I have a special problem for that, madam. I'll ring it for you. Yeah. Room service, may I help you? Yes, madam. I'll take care of this right away. Next, please. Service, the pulse of the hotel. A factor inherent to the industry known for its great tradition of hospitality. From the warm milk for the baby to the convenience of dinner in the room, or the delight of breakfast in bed, or information on tides, boat rental, or box lunches for the sportsman. From the manager on down, from the roof garden to the furnace room, from the parking lot to the swimming pool, the story of a hotel is told by the people who run it, who tend to the physical plant, from maintenance to the social director, to the laundry and ballet service, it is a community enterprise that utilizes almost every skilled and semi-skilled labor that any city, town, or village would need, that contributes to the prosperity of the community in a host of ways. In employee wages, in food and beverage purchases, in federal, city, and municipal taxes, the ends of America constitute the sixth largest industry in the United States that last year contributed well over $3 billion to the national economy. It is an industry that sends more than four million towels and two million sheets to the laundry daily. That every year will buy more than five million pillowcases, six million sheets, and 14 million towels. And it is an industry that will spend nearly one billion dollars this year for development, construction, and renovation. All of which comes down simply to one thing, service for all the guests. For those who are too young to speak, to those who may not speak our language, the guests from abroad. In a shrinking world, the international traveler has become a frequent visitor to our shores. To meet his needs, the industry at large has adopted and wholeheartedly implemented a people-to-people -people program, a design for peace through understanding. They have created language charts that list the languages spoken by employees and have printed booklets in the major languages that serve as a guide to America, her ways and customs. It is a way to make the guests from abroad feel at home, a modern welcome in the great tradition. Evening is a time of relaxation the fun of having something to do, whatever it may be. The industry is only a reflection of the mood of the people they host, lending themselves readily to every form of community activity, whether that be a song fest, a local PTA meeting, a hayride, or a reception for a bride and groom. But perhaps the greatest number of people attend the more than 30,000 association conventions and 79,000 company sales meetings that were held last year in the member properties. And all members offer accommodations to meet the growing demands of the business and fraternal organizations. It is a gay world of gracious dining, where master chefs prepare excellent, enticing meals in some of the most elaborate kitchens in the world, where the grandest variety of foods is available. A place that can and does cater to all and that can handle anything from the all-American hamburger to a quiet dinner in pleasant surroundings that offers good food at reasonable prices in a relaxed atmosphere.
But it's also a place that can handle a celebration buffet for 2,000 or more with equal ease and facility, offering everything to delight the gourmet. They are occasions calculated to cause the Weight Watchers to have a convenient lapse of memory and willpower with tantalizing treats, such as spit-roasted pheasant under glass, chilled succulent oysters on the half shell set on a glistening field of crushed ice, and desserts of majestic proportions and variety, a symphony of sights to delight the eye and tease the palate, all set to music. A masterpiece culled through time and experience. Yet, it is just another facet of an industry that can feed more than two million people at a single seating. In its timeless tradition of dawn-to-dawn -dawn operation, the house never goes dark. Room 504 at 5 a.m. We will call you. Good night, sir. A hotel at rest, quiet, secure. While the guest sleeps, the staff remains constantly on the job, waiting to be of service and to put all the vast resources of the entire establishment at the service of the guest. It is comforting to know it is there to be had in a moment's notice. All is peaceful and at rest in front of the house as the night slips silently, unnoticed, into the hour of dawn. But dawn finds the back of the house pulsing with activity, where in the kitchen, a breakfast is being prepared. Within the hour, the first of hundreds of thousands of hungry guests will sit down to their morning meal, and all must be prepared many hours in advance. Good morning, it is 5 o'clock. The day is clear and sunny. The temperature is 68 degrees. Thank you, sir. A bright new day. Another day of people leaving, arriving, in a never-ending stream, continuing a cycle that never ends, perpetuating the great tradition. This is an age of travel, and wherever the 20th century man goes on the North American continent, he will find a member of the American Hotel Association to greet him and bid him welcome. America, 